Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. It is about week 5 assignment solution for ethical hacking course. Friends, uh, please watch the video till the end because if you skip the video, you may miss some content or if I modify any answer in between, you may not be able to note that. So do watch the full video and this is these are my probable solutions so i hope uh, almost every question is correct if there are any doubts i will mention there itself when that question arrives so if you want to suggest me any changes you can please do that in the comment section so before the submission uh, once again visit the comment section to check for any updates so i will mention it in the comment section if there are any changes so let's see the first question consider the following statements they gave two statements the purpose of vulnerability scanning is to identify weakness of a system or network in order to determine how a system can be exploited. So the first statement is correct only. And second one, Nmap script can be useful for automated scanning. However, scripts can have specific requirements. This is also correct. So the correct answer, the correct option is option C. Both one and two are true. So for first question, the answer is option C. And moving on to the second one. So guys, uh, some some type some questions are did not mention in the lectures. So I have given the some solutions according to uh, what I have known. So for second question, which of the following Nmap option runs some of the Nmap scripts? So there may be multiple solutions uh, but i have got option b minus sc and probably c also but i am not uh, sure about option c so i will only stick with option b guys if you anyone uh, know the exact solution for second question please confirm in the comment section maybe c also the one of the answer but i am not sure about option c so only i am going with option b Moving on to the third question. Which of the following Nmap scripts is used to perform DOS attack? So for third question, the answer is option D. HTTP slow, roll, slow low risk check. Guys, if I am uh, feeling any doubt, I will mention there itself only. Almost every question is correct. So let's see the... First of all, for third question, the answer is option D. So let's see the next question. The fourth one, which of the following tools or software cannot be used for scanning vulnerabilities? So uh, in the lectures, uh, they have mentioned option B and option F as the tools for scanning vulnerabilities so in the according to that context these two will not be uh, answer for this question and I think the remaining will be the answers because they did not mention there so the answers can be A C D and E guys if you uh, feel there is there should be any change please uh, mention it in the comment section so we'll try to discuss and give the best solution to our viewers and moving on to the fifth question which of the following tool or approach can be used for proxy preparation so for this also they did not mention anything so for fifth question uh, I think A could be the probable one. So I am not sure about fifth question. I think option A is the correct one. If there are any multiple solutions or if, if, the, if A is not the answer you can please mention. But I am going with option A for fifth question. Because in order to prepare proxy, web uh, hiding is the solution. So web based proxy or proxy chain tools may be the answer. And moving on to sixth one. which of the following is not a password cracking approach actually 
uh, all these approaches are password cracking are used for password cracking only so the answer will be f none of these so mark option f as correct answer for sixth question and moving on to the seventh one which of the following tools can be used to create a dictionary for dictionary based password attack it is also not mentioned actually uh, many of these assignment questions are not mentioned in the lectures uh, we have to get external knowledge for this so i have researched for it so for seventh question i think b is the probable answer crunch could be the probable answer guys you can please confirm in the comment section for seventh question also because somewhere i have uh, got that crunch is used for creating dictionary based attack so i think option b is the correct one so if you confirm me uh, let's pin that solution in the comment section and moving on to the eighth one which of the following statement is or not true for user enumeration so it is also not mentioned but uh, for eighth question i have got option b as answer one of the answer so only i am sticking with option b if there are any multiple solutions please mention so for eighth question uh, i am going with option b and moving on to ninth question which of the following can be used for gaining same level privileges than existing one guys actually uh, if it is higher higher level if it is higher level we should compare like uh, by using the than than word but here they are saying that same same privileges than existing one it is not correct according to grammatic uh, grammar so here there is two problems one is that whether we have to uh, consider same level privileges this word or we have to uh, search the meaning according to this word because these two will have different answers because if it is greater than existing one then it will become vertical if it is same level privileges it should be horizontal so i am going with the main word because they have mentioned uh, separately the same level privileges so i think uh, we should not consider this one they may have given it with the flow so i think same level privileges should be considered and for that the answer will be option b horizontal privilege escalation so for ninth question i am going with option b if you see the lecture then you will get understand what i am saying so let's go to the final question of the assign i mean 10th question of the assignment which of the following approaches can be helpful to avoid privilege escalation attack so for 10th question the solution is option a run user level application on least privileges guys actually it is uh, the only approach that is mentioned in the material but i think every option is correct only so uh, you can go with all options but if you want to uh, if you don't want to take risk then only go with option a so i am going with all options here because by just seeing that we can say that uh, these are just safe measures keeping the software updated regularly for perform vulnerability scan etc so i think all options are correct but only option a is mentioned in the lectures and moving on to 11th question which of the following statement is or are false so for 11th question i think uh, the option is option d because it is for viruses so i think option d is the correct one 
and moving on to 12th question which of the following can be used as a countermeasure against malware so this is also similar one all of these could be the correct one so option f all of this is the correct one and next one 13th question which of the following statement is or are false for sniffing so 13th question the correct answer will be c c is definitely correct but if it is uh, only http it will not be the answer but they did not mention https in the lecture but here they they gave it so i think it is also the answer along with option c generally uh, they did not mention https uh, in the lectures so only mention http only but not with s so maybe b should also be included so i think b and c are the answers and moving on to the four, 14th one which of the following commands is used to delete an arp entry in a system so guys uh, for this generally arp hyphen d is the command but they did not give here so i think it will be none of this so for for 14th question the probable solution is option e and moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 15th one which of the following statement is or are true so for 15th question there are actually four solutions i have got the first one is option a the other uh, the next one is option b third one is option c and the final solution is option e a b c e are the probable solutions for 15th question so mark a b c and e so friends these are the solutions that i have got for week 5 ethical hacking course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends if you have any doubts or if you want to suggest me any changes for the given questions you can do that in the comment section so that before the submission final submission moment once again check the video comments so friends so for further more videos like this keep supporting our channel until then goodbye thank you